Shalom, shalom. First form of we get started. I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, with Kakadash, and double honesty those great millstone while lunch is true. And also to the whole elect that is scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom. Come back here today with another great, powerful lesson through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So, type D lesson is the great day of the Lord is near. So, I like to say, Shalom to all our listeners learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power. Which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So that everybody that, you know, the truth is out there. And everybody, you cannot do anything against the truth, but for the truth. And everybody, anything that was hid is being it's been uncovered now. And I about the light is constantly shining through all this darkness. And I about a lot of people are beginning to find out the truth. And I about great fear is falling upon the heathen nation. Also the two third. And I about we read upon judgment. And I about the great day of the Lord is fast approaching. And I about it's, it's it's right upon us, very near, very close. And I about the Lord said, look up, your redemption is Draw us now, and I had about the great day of the Lord is almost here, and I had about that we are almost at the finish line, and I had about these Bible prophecies are constantly jumping off the pages left and right, and I had about it everywhere you look in the social media is always telling you about what's getting ready to happen. I, I mean, it's all over the place, and I had about the Lord had. He let the, the truth just go out everywhere. The Lord said he would pour out his spirit on all flesh. A lot of people are prophesied. The heathen nation are prophesied. The two thirds are prophesied. Everyone, you know what I'm saying, that the Lord put the spirit on is prophesied. And I had about out of it for good or, or for bad. And I had about everyone is standing in their lot. And I had about the great day of the Lord is fast approach. We have run out of time. And I had about the time is now to seek Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And I had about door repenting is closing. And I had about the sealing of the elect is all over. And I had about the only thing we're waiting on, the implement of the M-O, the M-O-T-B, and also the new world order. And I had about it is fast approach, talking about the sovereignty of America, this digital society, the end of the dollar. World War Three is right upon us. And I had about the, you know, World War Three is, is constantly building up. And I had about the evils are constantly growing all across the world. And I had about if you cannot see and you still don't believe, then you have a strong delusion. The Lord had put you in a deep sleep. But that little body is that the Lord is getting ready to return. And I had about I have two short video clips. And after those clips, I'm going to put a few uh, scriptures and precepts around it. And we're going to close out and hope that you get edified by today's lesson. So now we'll get started with the a uh, video clip that everyone been showing and we'll get started right now. I'm telling you guys, I'm not fucking playing. Look at this war. It's a golden war from the NASA space station live fucking feed. Excuse my language. Oh, oh my gosh. Look. What the hell's going on? Holy fuck. NASA space station looking out to the stars. Oh my God. That's a fucking massive shit.
has been interrupted due to loss of signal. I, How the hell was that loss of signal? There's so, that did bad. You know, how do you believe or you don't believe? And I did about it that, you know, the Lord will come with, with the thousands of the angels. And I did about it that the Lord is getting ready to return. He's hovering right above us. And I did about it, the true believers, the house of David, we come to believe. And I did about it, the Lord said, I will come like a thief in the night. And I did about it, who is watching? Praying and being sold. It's the elect, the house of David, the one that fear the Lord, the one that constantly putting our total trust in him. And I did about it, the Lord is getting ready to return, whether you believe it or not. A global event is getting ready to occur. The, 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 the new world order that what is coming is the kingdom of heaven. The Lord is getting ready to return and set things back into order. So I have one more video. Then we'll start the lesson. One moment. One more video and we'll start the lesson. Here we go. I have a friend that's lived in China for a very long time that was telling me they were about to charge people for not taking mRNA technology. They were going to raise their income tax times too and fine people $50 equivalency a day if they didn't force their children to take this experiment, this mRNA treatment. He said it's going to get very bad. And then I realized he wasn't talking about China. He was talking about a bill that they're trying to pass in Rhode Island, the United States of America. So, hope you uh, uh, enjoyed the video. And the idea about it is that, you know, the Lord is getting ready to return. Also, in that video, said that, you know, they'll be charging people $50 a day if they don't take the, you know what. And that about it. We already told you about the sovereignty of America, you know, May the 22nd. You know, it's a big date. And that made May the 22nd through, I can't think what the, the other part of the date was. But anyway, they're getting ready to try to implement the new world order. And that about this digital society. Getting ready to put you in a choke of whether you will have to make a decision. You know, you would not be able to buy or sell. would not be able to do anything unless you submit to this what? You know, this beast system is coming to life each and every day. It's not tearing. And I about the Lord is not tearing. And I about the spirit of the Lord is constantly moving through the earth. All these Bible prophets are jumping off the pages left and right. It's time to seek the Lord. Either you will hear or either you will forbear. And I about it really does not matter because the idea about it, the, the great dear Lord, fast and pro, a judgment is right upon him. He said, first my judgment will start at the house of Israel. And I about it, the judgment is coming. And I about it, the Lord is getting ready to lay this place down with fervent heat, whether you believe it or not. And I did about that. All your lifestyle is getting ready to be interrupted because they're about we're in a transition of power. And that about one earth age is going out and that new age is coming in, which in fact is the kingdom of heaven. The world without end, whether you believe it or not. And that about all you scoffers and mock, all you the ones that unbelieving, not about it, you getting ready to become a true belief. And in, in, in a few minutes, the Lord said, every tongue shall confess, every knee shall bow down. And I did about it. In that day, they shall know that he is the Lord. And I did about it. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah. He's getting ready to return. The king of the universe. So that did about it. That we, we know that our salvation is very close. Even though we know that the devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. And I did about it. We're not even worried about it. The Lord said he will help us. He will deliver us in those times of trouble. So the great day of the Lord is coming. It's very near. And I did about it. Tied up with the day lesson. Once again, is the great day of the Lord is near. So we get started in the book of Mark. Just a quick lesson through the spirit right before I go, go to work. Uh, Mark chapter 13 and verse 19, we'll start up here. And it reads, for, for in those days shall be affliction, such as was not from the beginning of the creation, which, which the Most High created unto this time, neither shall, shall be. Verse 20, and except the Lord has shortened those days, no, no flesh shall be saved, but for the elect's sake, whom he has chosen, he has shortened the days. So that the ideal about it, for the elect's sake, the one that, that kept the patient, the one that kept that understanding, this gospel, now they constantly spreading. The Lord told, told uh, a Peter before he left, he said, feed my sheep if you love me. And I did about it that the men of the Lord, we love the Lord. We constantly spreading his word throughout the four corners of the earth. And I did about it, the Lord said, once that happened, then shall the end come. And I did about it, we were scattered in all nations. The Lord is getting ready to come and deliver us. And I did about it, we are rejoicing. And I did about it, in that video, that first video, you seen all those chariots, seen thousands of them. And I did about it, who was in the midst of them. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh shot. 
the king of the universe. He is getting ready to return. Even though he said it was a mothership, we know it as a fathership. And about, we know the true names of the heavenly father. The father's name is Yahweh. The, our Lord and Savior, the great deliverer is getting ready to return. It's Yahweh shot. So that about, we are very excited. And I about that. All our affliction is getting ready to be a thing of the past. This nightmare is getting ready to be over. And that about, the Lord is getting ready to put us back in our first state. So rejoice ye heaven. So now, let's go to uh, Malachi chapter 4. Just a quick lesson through the spirit. Malachi chapter 4, one moment. Malachi. Malachi chapter 4 and verse uh, 1. And it reads, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh, cometh shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, that it that it shall lead them neither root nor branch. So that is about the Lord is getting ready to come to destroy this place. The IBCM missiles are getting ready to fly. World War Three is constantly uh, uh, brewing. It's constantly uh, escalating. Now it's about, it talks about NATO. It talks about China, Taiwan, Israel. All these things are coming to pass. You know what I'm saying? All these Bible prophets are constantly jumping off the page. Ezekiel chapter 38, Jeremiah chapter uh, 50 and 51. A lot of things are happening. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Revelation chapter 13, you know what I'm saying? Revelation chapter 12, things are coming into play, left and right, and that vibration is changing. Now, about the Lord is getting ready to visit the earth, and now, about that, you know what I'm saying? The indignation of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, is very close. It will burn like an oven, and now, about those don't IBC on this will pervade this earth with that fervent heat, and now, about that, you know what I'm saying? That is that second devil, the lake of fire, and now, about that, once that, uh, that had liberty and it is still are still a choose in this temporal world. They want to come out of this mindset. You're getting ready to be destroyed. Two parts therein will be cut off and die on the side. The great day of the Lord is near. So now let's go to uh one more. <clears throat> let's go to uh Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 30, quick precept. Jeremiah chapter 30. One moment. Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 30. One moment. Jeremiah chapter 30, and we'll start at verse 6. Jeremiah chapter 30, and we'll start at verse 6. <clears throat> and it reads, Ask ye now, and see whether a man doeth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into pelvis. So when that great day of the Lord finally come, a lot of people will be faint or a lot of people will be tra traveling like a woman, vexation of spirit, howling and weeping. And I did that, you know what I'm saying? The Lord said that the ones that, that, that was disobedient, the one that constantly uh, rejected knowledge, the Lord is getting ready to come and destroy you. And I did that, you know, the selling of the let, and the Lord is getting ready to let them destroy wind, come in and destroy this place. We constantly warn you left and right. Jacob's trouble is right upon you. So now we'll start back up. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. At last, for, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who shall be saved out of the elect, the house of David, the Israel of the Most High? And that about the one that's constantly making this video, the one that's constantly signing crap, spreading the word throughout the four corners of the earth. And that about we constantly doing the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah each and every day. And that about it, the Lord said, in that day they shall know that a prophet was among. And that about it, that things are beginning to happen. The Bible prophets are constantly lining up. The Lord is moving the chess pieces around. And that about it, the great day is, is almost here. And I did about we cannot wait. And I did about immortality, spiritual power. It's right around the corner. Rulership. That's what we're waiting on. If you're not ready to rule, you're ready to die. And I did about that. You know, we're at the beginning of sorrow. And I did about that. The Lord is getting ready. The, the, the latest place down. Great persecution. Great death. Great mourning. It's right upon you. We constantly warning you left and right. We're going to constantly do as we are all the way to the end, whatever that end is. And that's because we trust and believe in Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So now let's go to Revelation. Just a quick lesson through the Spirit. Revelation chapter 13. Revelation chapter 13. And we'll start at verse uh, 15. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 15. And it reads And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So that everybody, you know, you've seen in that second video, what man said that, you know, they would start charging 
people fifty dollars a fifty dollar fine a day and trying to pass that bill in a road aisle. And I did about they don't, you know. So all these things are coming upon us. So that B system is speaking loud and clear. And I did about they get ready to, to, to try to make you submit. And I did about you know, be a part of this system, this new world order, this global reset that everyone will have to line up, you know what, and take that, you know what. And I did about it. If you submit, you will be trodden down. You will be totally destroyed. And I did about it. You know, only the true believer we will not bend a fold. So now let's start back up. Uh, Revelation chapter 13, we'll start back up. At verse 16, and he calls us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Verse 18, here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man, and his number is 600, three scores and six. So that everybody, we're coming upon that time. And that about this B system is coming loud and clear. They are getting ready on May the 22nd, once again, the, 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 the talk about the sovereignty, the, the freedom, your rights of America. And that about it, you know, and just like I said, it's getting ready to come upon the whole earth. This global event, this global event is getting ready to happen right before your eyes. You know, either you believe it or you don't have to believe it because the idea about it is that the Lord is taking over. And I had about the spirit of the Lord is moving through the earth. And I had about the plan is coming. The plan is what? The kingdom of heaven. The Lord is ushering it in. And I had about the Lord is putting the spirit on all the heathen nation. You know what I'm saying? I had about Russia and China troops are getting ready to invade America. The UN troops, we're cussing on you left and right. A great multitude is kindled over you. And I had about they will feed you being idols to things like the FEMA camp, the guillotines. You know what I'm saying? Great persecution. Great death and destruction. We constantly warn, but a lot of people are still asleep. But that about you are getting ready to wake up, but it will be too late. The Lord said, they shall seek me early, but they shall not find. So they're getting ready to make you submit. You will not be able to buy us here. Your necessities, your way of life, all these things are getting ready to be a thing of the past unless you submit. And that about did it. Anyone that submit, that take that, you know what, that pseudo side. You know what I'm saying? And about that pseudo salvation. And that about did it. You will be totally destroyed because you did not trust in your true power, which in fact is Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah. And the Lord is getting ready to return. And everybody, you've seen that first footage, and everybody, that, that's self explanatory. If you do not believe in all this time, you still think that they are make believe. You still think the Lord don't have this type of power or this capability. And I did about it, then you're in for a rude awakening. You'll get ready to wake up. But I did about it. A lot of people are, are, are marked for salvation. And a lot of people, which in fact are the two-thirds, they are marked for what? For death. And I did about it. A lot of people are walking around here, are the walking dead, are walking charcoal. And I did about it. Though you even, even know it. And I did about it. The Lord is getting ready to open up your eyes. But that hot flame is coming very quickly. Yet they had liberty. And I did about it. That a lot of people are still are playing gay. And I did about it. We have run out of time. So now, let's go to uh, one moment. Let's go to uh, Revelation chapter 7. Revelation chapter 7, a little bit more ed edification. Revelation chapter 7 and verse 1. We'll start up here. And it reads, After these things I saw four angels standing on the four cor corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the winds should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Verse 2, And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And the, and he cried with a loud voice uh, to the four angels, to, to whom it was given to hurt, to, to hurt the earth and the sea. Verse, verse 3, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the tree, till we have sealed the servants of our our power in their foreheads. And that about is talking about the elect. That's what we, exactly what we're waiting on. And that about those destroy, uh, destroying winds are them IBC on missiles. The indignation of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. They are very close. The Lord is constantly hovering over us. And that about the enemy notice. And that about the global elites. They know all these things. Great fear is falling upon them. That's why they are trying to perform their enterprise. The devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. And also when you read about it in Isaiah chapter 59, in verse 19, the enemy is getting ready to come in like a flood. But the Lord said, when the enemy strike, the Lord is going to strike right back with that spiritual power, immortality, rulership. That's what we're waiting on. Once we get that spiritual power, all things are getting ready to turn around. And that's about it. We already have the victory. And that's about it. We must keep pushing. And that's about it. The Lord is holding back the wind to sealing the elect. So the elect 
We almost here. And I about the door of repentance. It's almost closed. And I about that. We constantly warn you left and right. Back in Noah's time, back in Solomon and Gomorrah time, what happened? They did not listen. They was drinking and being murdered in the house of murder, constantly playing games. And they were totally destroyed. And I did about the Lord is coming back. He's getting ready to destroy this place with fervent heat. Either you believe it or not, either you hear or forbear. We're at the end. Whether you know it or not, we do not care. And I did about we want the selling of the let and get out of here. So now, let's get another quick precept before we close out. Let's go to Ezekiel. One moment. Ezekiel chapter, one moment. Ezekiel chapter nine. One moment. Just going off the spirit. Ezekiel chapter nine. And we'll start up at verse four. Ezekiel chapter nine and verse four. A uh, quick precept. And it reads, no, so like, let's go to Jeremiah first. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 50. Jeremiah chapter 51 for, before we go here. Jeremiah chapter 51. One moment. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse uh, verse 1, quick precept. And it reads, Thus said the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that, that rise up against me a destroying wind. And that embodies that, you know, a lot of people are constantly provoking Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh shout, which in fact is Esau, Edom, and these heathen nations, and also the two thirds. And I did about, they're read upon their judgment. And I did about, the Lord said, I will repay. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. So the Lord is coming back and set everything back into order. He's getting ready to repay all these nations that's kept us down, that kept us uh, in the dark, kept us, uh, sh kept shedding our innocent blood, robbed, stole, and killed. All these things are getting ready to return upon their own head. And the Lord said, He is. It's against Babylon the Great. And I about he's getting ready to destroy this place. This is the burnt offering. And I about that, you know, this place is getting ready to go. It's going to be worse than 70 AD. Going to make 70 AD look like a welfare cake. It's going to be a time of trouble that we have never seen before. So Lord is going to have to uh, dis dispatch the angel, Archangel Michael. And I about that supernatural intervention. It's getting ready to come into play. And I did about the Lord is getting ready to help us in ways that we cannot believe. And I did about it. And I did about it. We are trusting and believing it each and every day. And I did about it. We're keeping the faith. We're walking in the spirit each and every day. Because we know that the Lord is very close. And I did about it. The Lord is here. And I did about it. We cannot wait. The great day of the Lord is, is near. And I did about it. That we constantly warn you left and right. And I did about it. That <laughs> all you unbelievers, you're getting ready to become a, a believer. And I did about it, but it will call your destruction because that did about it. you had time, you had liberty, you constantly laying back, thinking you you a good a good case. The Lord is holding back that dis destroying wind, the ceiling of the elect, and the imp implement of the MOTB, and all hell is getting ready to break loose. The kingdom of heaven is almost at hand. So now let's go to uh Ezekiel chapter nine, one moment, and then we'll we'll close out. Ezekiel chapter nine, one moment. And hope that you get edified by today's lesson. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 9, and we'll start at verse 4. A little bit more edification. And it reads, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that, that sigh and cry for all the abomination that, that be done in the midst thereof, the elect, the house of David, the prophets. Uh, verse 5. And, and to the others he said, in, in my hearing, go ye after after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Verse 6, slay utterly, utterly old, young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. And that about the Lord said, his judgment will first start at the house of Israel. And that about he will not let any harm come to the elect. But we are sealed in the forehead with that what? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. And that about it will keep you stable through, the, through these times of trouble. That understanding, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that gospel, you know what I'm saying? That we constantly holding on to the same that endure, the same shall be saved. And that about you seeing all these different things that going on in the world, all around us. And that about the Lord has showed us the one that was meant to see that that uh that first video, that NASA footage, the Lord showed us that hey, I'm I I ain't here. And I did about the Lord that wants us to believe. And I did about He's getting ready to take over. And I did about it. The Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work. And I did about it. The great day of the Lord. It is near. It's right upon us. 
And that about it. our salvation is very close to them yet believe. So that about it. the Lord is in total control. And that about it. even though they want total control, but the Lord is in total control. And that about it. we cannot wait. Woo! We cannot wait. So now let's go to our last and final strip, and we'll close out. Let's go to uh Second Aries chapter nine. We'll close out here. One moment. Second Aries chapter nine. Second Aries chapter nine, and we'll start up at verse one moment. We'll start up at verse seven. Second Aries chapter nine and verse seven. And it reads, uh, and every man that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed the elect, the prophets, the one that the true believer of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, faith and work, work, work hand in hand. And I did about it. If you do not have any uh, works, then you know that is dead. And I did about it. That a lot of people don't have works, don't have faith. And I did about it. They are the tutor. You're getting ready to be destroyed and cut off on this side. And the one that have the faith and the work and the one that's constantly doing his will each and every day is the house of day, the elect. And I did about it. We cannot wait because we know that the kingdom of heaven it is right at hand. So now, second area chapter nine and verse eight shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and, and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from the beginning. So the Lord is getting ready to return and I did about it. The Lord said, you know, some would not uh, perish until they see his great and glorious return. And I did about it that, you know, that is the elect. And I did about it. we cannot wait. Once again, uh, Second Aries chapter 9 and verse, verse 9. Then shall they be a pitiful case which now has abused my ways. And they that has cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Uh, verse 10, for such as in their life had received benefits and have not known me. Verse 11, and they and, and they that have loathed my law while they yet, yet, yet had liberty. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Verse 12. The same must know it after death by pain. Let's read verse 11 once again. Let's go over that once more. Uh, second Aries chapter 9 and verse 11 once again. And they that had loathed my law, while they yet yet had liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Verse 12. The same must know it after death by pain. So right now, a lot of people, had benefits, which in fact, the one that has uh, these riches, the one that had great success in, in this fallen kingdom, which in fact is Babylon the Great, this temple world, and I about you have received your consolation, and I about your reward is coming, your reward is death, and I about yet you had liberty, but that about what did you do? You despised it, and I about those these things are getting ready to come to an end. All this despising, all this unbelief, all the ones that don't have the faith. And I about it is right before your eyes. And I about the Lord is setting things right back in order, right before everyone's eyes. And I about it, they know the spirit of the Lord is moving through the earth. And I about this truth is constantly fresh, that flourishing throughout the earth. And I about the truth is being declared through the spirit of power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And that about, they would know it, death by pain, that second death, the indignation of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, which in fact is the lake of fire, Babylon the Great, what you walking through each and every day, what you see all around you, this will be a lake of fire, whether you believe it or not. That global vic is coming, and I, and I did about, that supernatural intervention is right upon it, spiritual power, and I did about, still think that this is a game, you still don't believe, but it's almost over. So the title of the day's lesson, once again, is the great day of the Lord is near. So I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rekakadosh. And I'd like to say, Shalom.